to first plural effusion, second plural effusion, then blind biopsy, then surgical intervention. Now the recommendation has completely changed. Current recommendation is you do a plural aspiration. If you get an indeterminate effusion, you subject that patient for medical surgery. Indication of now we need to see now if the effusion is there, a large effusion, now whether to do a diagnostic tapping or a therapeutic tapping. So what is the indication of therapeutic thoracosynthesis? If you have to remove the plural effusion in patients who have empyema, it is very necessary. If you, uh, and to relieve dyspnea in patients who have secondary plural effusion. To remove the plural effusion so that the underlying pura can be evaluated. Or we can do CL thoracosynthesis in patients of malignant plural effusion who are very dyspnea. So if the patient is having symptoms, then you need to do a therapeutic tapping other than a diagnosis. Coming to thoracoscopy. This is the thoracoscopy is a topic which will take another an hour or so to talk about in detail. So I'll give you a zest. So if the patient is coming and there is indeterminate pleural effusion, what to do next is medical thoracoscopy. It is as simple as doing an ICD procedure. So you see whether it is exudative effusion of unknown etiology. Here, it can be tuberculosis, can be malignant. Then in patients who have dual malignancy, we uh, don't see a lot of uh, mesotheliomas, but in certain areas of India where there is ship-breaking yard or high asbestos exposure, these patients do develop mesothelioma and for that, thoracoscopy is needed. Then we have empyema. Grade 1 empyema, you need to completely evacuate by doing thoracoscopy. Spontaneous pneumothorax, yes, for seeing whether they are blips or not. Then in certain condition, we can do lung biopsies for ILD, but it is not recommended by a, uh, that it is not recommended to do by a pneumologist or pulmonologist. Then it's about therapeutic. We do arc podrach and acetylene lysis. These are grossly the indications of the Coming to when to insert the chest tube. Now the question always arises that we are doing a recurrent tapping, recurrent uh, filling is there. So we need to do chest tube insertion in case patient is having empyema or there is complicated paranemonic effusion. If there is hemothorax and if there is malignant effusion, these patients who have severe dyspnea or have a lot of um, issues with uh, taking breath, these patients, you have to relieve them of the dyspnea. For that, you have to insert a chest tube. If it is not possible uh, completely evacuation by chest tube, you can go for thoracoscopic procedure. This is all about the pleural effusion. How do we approach to the diagnosis and how do we approach to the treatment? Because once we know the diagnosis, then the treatment becomes an easier part. Uh, questions are welcome and I thank you for the patience.